Uh, kia ora tātou. Uh, thank, thank you, presenters. I will just cut straight into it. Unfortunately, we'll be um, we'll pissed for time, take about 10 minutes. So, who's got the first part of Anybody? around the issues and then uh, obviously some solutions around that. So top time and then just turn off. Thank you. Kia ora. Um, my question is towards our soil uh, people. Just spoke. Um, thank you for your call, you all. Uh, I'm involved in a project up on Timata Peak at the moment, um, establishing an all garden, so for an area where we can use uh, grow plants uh, specifically for the purpose of rural medicine. Um, and so it's a, the start off is a three year project, so it's been bare land um, that we have done one planting last season and we've got two more, obviously it's a long project. But um, what we typically are doing with our tree planting is digging a hole in dirt and then planting our trees in there and then wishing them luck. Um, up there it's really dry. Um, and yeah, very hard to get them established. And I've been thinking about the idea of, um, say, getting forest floor mulch with the living organisms and trying to uh, inoculate like a mulch for them um, or make a liquid feed for them to help, um, yeah, to, to create the life in the soil. And um, the coal masters had said, suggested like um, a, on the mulch maybe a fish fertiliser and then mixing in the forest floor and putting that there to help them. And yeah, and I was just wondering if you have any thoughts or suggestions on, on a way to do that. We're quite a small area, but this is something that we're obviously planting a lot of trees everywhere. So how you could do that in a small area or on a larger scale with all of our tree plantings to support our natives? Sure. You're on the right track, in my opinion. Yes. The only thing I'd add would be seaweed, right, to that mixture. The idea of the forest floor duff, that's great. You can create additional inoculum in a very natural way, um, oddly enough called Korean natural farming, but that's something you, you, know, you can ask me about later in more detail. But absolutely, mulch, 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 and dig bigger holes. Kia ora, we, just a reminder, um, you can, uh, the rest of our presenters at lunchtime and at the end of the evening at three o'clock. We encourage that. Uh, questions? Anyone for the economist or the hydrologist? Yeah, Tenakato. Uh, 
uh, in terms of political for, uh, for the future, how do we future-proof attitudes towards water, whenua, etc., when the colour of the beehive changes, when the regional councils change, so is there a plan going forward, uh, obviously legislation, to future-proof it? Get up. That's a really good question. That's a really good question because um, the RMA, as, um, as Tajo Williams has, has very well said, has not been pulling its weight for Māori. And we've waited 30 years um, and we've not got what we need in terms of environmental management and Tajo can't handle another 30 years of mismanagement. So your question is really well placed. Um, one of the points that, that, that I made was we need to have Māori decision-making and, and I want to pause